Are you tired of living in a dirt house and survival Minecraft, but feel overwhelmed at the prospect of making a fancy house? If you answered yes, well don't you worry your little head, because today I'm going to be showing you my system for making fancy looking Minecraft houses. Okay, well step one is to just mark out the area you're going to use. I just put a netherrack cube. Did not measure it, did not plan it really, just put a random cube up. I'm going to show you how simple this is. Once you have your netherrack cube, all you're going to want to do is uh, replace the netherrack with a framing block of your choice. I decided to use a stripped dark oak wood. And uh, at the bottom level here, you can see you just replace it with a uh, foundation block of your choice. It can be anything from cobblestone, stone, stone brick, bricks even would work, you know, anything that would uh, pretty, pretty much fit as a foundation. Okay, the next step is to actually add the wall blocks. You can do a flat wall if you'd like, or you can do what I'm going to do is a recessed wall. They both work, and um, it's, it's out of personal preference, but uh, for the recessed wall, all you're going to do is... Uh, pretty much extend the um, frame right there and just put your walls right here one block on the inside it adds a little bit of depth to the build you know we're gonna do all we can to make this plain cube not as cubey but yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in the walls and check back in with you all I've done is add birch wood planks to the wall now you can pick any uh, block you want for the wall you can uh, have wood stone any color any texture just uh, I would I would keep in mind to either make it contrast your framing block or complement it. They're, those two school of thoughts, they both are valid. But uh, at the end of the day, as long as you like your build, that's all that matters. So experiment, try different blocks. You will quickly find what blocks you'd like to go together and what you don't. Okay, the next step is to just punch out some windows and add the roof. And after that's done, you will have pretty much a structure done. And now you can focus on the little detailing. But all you want to do for windows is... Uh, Pretty much just come to the outside I find it's easier and uh, find probably the middle section and just punch out holes. It's as simple as that. We're probably going to have two stories on the inside so we won't go all the way up. Just uh, knock out a little 3x3 three three and boom, you have a spot where the window is going to go. And then you just come to the other side of the doorway, realize that your lack of measuring made it so it'll be an asymmetrical window setup. But that is fine, you know. Some symmetry is nice, but, you know, it doesn't always have to be symmetrical. Taking the time to plan out your frame and do a, a shape more complex than a cube would probably help the look of a building, but I'm just here to show you that even a simple cube, unplanned, can still turn into something pretty beautiful looking. Next stop, the roof. Okay, around this stage of the building process, maybe a little bit before, maybe a little after, you'll start having to think about what you want to go on the interior. I want a staircase on that back wall, so that means I will not be punching holes in it. Because I do not think windows on a staircase go well together, but that is personal preference. So instead, I will be adding a small middle balcony to this wall. If you feel like adding a balcony is too intimidating to your build, feel free to just punch a wind a windows in this last wall. It is up to you, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. But I'll meet you on the roof now. If you feel like roofs are the most intimidating part of a build, don't worry. I, I used to think that too. I used to avoid them at all costs. But uh, I will show you how easy they can be to make a good looking roof. All a roof is really is a slope. So you just come to the end and you work on making the slope really. You can either have a very uh, low slope like I'm doing now with slabs. You can even um, add more blocks to the slab. So... Uh, they are, it's even a lower slope, or you can go the opposite end, where if you were to add a uh, staircase, pretend, pretend this is a staircase, because I don't have any on me, you can go up a staircase, and then you can uh, place a block, and then uh, another, you can even put a full block there, and then you can get a crazy high slope, but uh, I don't think a high slope would work on this roof, so I'm going to go for the very narrow slope, and you just uh, fill in the blocks, and it's also important to add an overhang, to the ends of your building to give it a little bit more depth on both on all sides but uh don't do what i just did because uh you want to continue the slope even on the overhang so i will go down a block just gotta just gotta place that there and boom you just extend this out and uh you just fill in the blocks with whatever your preferred slope is as you can see i've not added any details to this build just the main structure and it's already looking i would say that looks passable and a survival house just starting out, I mean, that that's a fine-looking house in my opinion. But if you want, you can always add details, and I will show you what I do to add a little bit more details to these walls. So as you can see over here, I prefer to do a little trim around the windows, usually with slabs and fences. But 
You don't need to overcomplicate building in survival Minecraft. I've used four whole blocks this whole time. Deep slate for the roof, dark oak for the tr uh, the frame, uh, birch wood for the walls, and cobblestone for the foundation. I will on these little window sills. I will use a combination of deep slate tiles and a stone brick wall. So that'll bring the grand total up to six different blocks. You don't need to get crazy. You don't need to do a million blocks. I think six is plenty. You could probably even get away with less if you really wanted to, but uh, variety is nice. So uh, I will uh, start working on these window sills. Okay, I know this looks complicated, but it's really not. I've just used uh, deep slate tiles, deep slate tile slabs, and uh, done a little arch over the window. And I've done a flat little uh, trim at the bottom, and then just connected them with stone brick balls. And now I'm just adding a little bit of greenery in the middle. So add a little bit more color, but that that's that's literally it looks more complicated than it is. And right now I'm just showing my build process. I'm experimenting with the slabs, seeing if that shape looks better than what I had. I I don't think it does, so I'm just gonna extend it a little bit, make it a little bit more curve. Don't be like me in survival and uh, use a scaffolding. It, it's a useful, has its purpose, and you can easily get up here to add the things you want. See, I I don't like that, but I experimented. I uh, saw it and i don't like it so you know just just play around experiment with new things you will find what you like and don't like some survival only building tips please make sure you light up your area as mobs will spawn and make sure you bring enough resources because you have to collect all the blocks yourself okay as you can see here we're pretty much wrapping up with this build i i added a little doorway and all I've done is take the trim blocks, the stone brick walls, and the deep slate tiles, and I just made them into a little walkway for the doorway. I think it's lovely. It goes with the build. It's very simple. But I've just extended the trim on all sides, except for this back side where I have made that balcony I've been talking about. And it sounded complicated, but all I've done is, once again, taken the trim blocks, the stone brick walls, and the deep slate tile slabs, and made it into a balcony. Again, you you can add different blocks if you want, you know, different blocks for your balcony, different blocks for your doorway, but uh, you can just keep it simple. You know, some simple simplicity is the best, but uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope uh, showing you my build process made uh, the prospect of building in survival Minecraft less intimidating. If you uh, like this video, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.